Well, currently I'm in Ayutthaya, the ancient city in Thailand. This used to be capital of the Kingdom of Siam since the 14th century up until it was destroyed by the Burmese in 18th century. Today, I will take the chance to explore the city for 24 hours and see how's life here. Well, right now I am heading to the floating market. You can hear from my background, you can start to hear the, the Thai traditional music going on right now. This is the floating market. Wait, is, is this it? And you have to pay to come in. What are all these elephants doing here? I hope they're treated nice. But seems like it, I guess. Personally, it's not something that I would do, but I just hope that they are they're doing fine. I hope they are they're happy here. And uh, actually, this is a floating market. I was thinking of coming here just now. Turns out you have to pay 200 baht. You want to talk to people, uh, locals and foreigners. They actually told me that it doesn't worth paying 200 baht just to go in because they said it's a very inauthentic experience. They'll do a boat ride around the lake and gonna have some free performance, mainly for the tourists. Just decided that they're not gonna go in. But guys, that is a good decision because look at this. Where the hell am I in right now? Like you have all... <laughs> You have all the elephant poops here and then you have all these structures that I believe were built back in the 14th or 15th centuries. Man, this is so much better than going for a touristy boat ride in a man-made lake. Wow. Well, I mean, I think all these poops are from the elephants when they are taking the, the tourists around. So I think <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'll follow the poops. And I believe that that will take me to the interesting places. <laughs> Let's follow the poops. Why is this place abandoned in the middle of nowhere? Wow, let's go in. Yeah, I wonder what's the story with this structure. Is it a temple? And just look at it. It would be so awesome if these are all built in the 15th centuries where none of this actually existed back then. From far away, you can see they are building some new resorts. They're turning this into a touristy place. Uh, and there's a, a statue there. I believe it's Buddha. It's very peaceful here. Let's look at it. Based on my little research that I've done online, this is called Wachang. It was built at the end of the Sukhothai era because of the bell-shaped design. It was a prominent design of temples around that era. The reason why this temple is deserted is still unknown. But most people who come here on a, they come on an elephant ride, go around here and just enjoy the serenity of this place. This is so unreal to, to be walking down this route. I wonder was this statue built around the same time? That's a very beautiful bird. Yeah, I wonder if this statue is built around the same time. Look at the statue and the and the temple. Ah oh man, this is this is nice. Man, I'm so grateful to be sitting here even though there's nothing much here. And by the way, can you spot where the bird is? I'm gonna give you five seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one. It's actually on top of the leaves. Did you see it? Hi. Where do you guys come from? I'm from Japan. Japan. Japan yeah. Is it hot up there? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. Wow. Um, now it's getting breezy. So it's good to sit here. I'm just gonna sit here a little bit more and I'm gonna get going and head to my next stop. The people riding the elephants there. Oh, he's not waving back. Oh well. Well, I was here for more than half an hour, so I better be get going to my next destination. Bye, Ganle. Well, this is uh, the Ayutthaya floating market. Right now, I'm in the market right in front of the floating market. And <laughs> I feel like this is even more authentic compared to the floating market uh, behind. I, did, I actually didn't end up going in because you sort of have to do all the touristy things, uh, which uh, takes up a lot of my time. So I feel I'd like rather just uh, keep going. But look at this. <laughs> But even here, I feel like it's very touristy. So, yeah, um, just, just gonna go back. You know, the thing is with ancient city like Ayutthaya, everywhere you go, you will find ruins everywhere. <laughs> Look at this one. Well, can you imagine how pretty it was when it was first built, when it was still used for whatever purpose it was built for. Yeah, over there, there's another rune. There's a pagoda over there. It's called Wat Kudidao. Oh, let's uh, go in. Let's go in and then see how it's like inside. Like many archaeological sites in Ayutthaya, this site is also unknown when it comes to the period of uh, when it was constructed but they would believe that it, it was built in the early Ayutthaya period and this is the entrance to the ancient ruin look at this it looks a little bit like a a, a Christian cathedral here. I guess it was destroyed and I think that this was used to be part of the pagoda and it was destroyed and all of these were I believe were from here. Wait, I wonder what happened here. Like how did it fall? How was it destroyed like this? One of the very interesting facts about the buildings built during the Ayutthaya period is most of them has a very curvy design. It kind of resembles the trading cargo ship back in the day. And over here as well, you still can see it curve a little bit down. So this is how you identify the buildings built during Ayutthaya period. It was a nice visit. Let's get going. Hello. 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 Uh, what is this? Noodle. Noodle. Or beef? Can I have beef? Yeah, one. Uh, I of noodle. Can I have mix? Yeah. I cannot mix, sorry. Uh, never mind, I'll, I'll eat, have egg, egg, noodle. egg noodle. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Just now when I did a little bit of research, uh, most of the attractions are temples. So, I, I'm not sure if I wanted to visit that many temples, um, even though they are cool. I'm just probably going to go to visit maximum like one more temple and then just walk around and just enjoy my last day in Thailand. 
uh, it's still going to be a good good one. Alright, thank you. Wow, food is here. I'm just gonna start eating and then I'm gonna start exploring the city. I really like the meal here. They are very simple and then they're quite cheap as well. Right now, uh, this is a pork noodle. This is kind of similar to what you usually have in, in KL. Let me try how it tastes like. It's very simple, it's very clean. I guess you have to add a little bit of um, condiments. This will make it. It will change the flavor. This is day two, and. Yesterday, I, after I checked into my accommodation, I did not end up going out to do a more exploration because I was not feeling well from the heat. So I decided to stay back and just uh, take a break. And it is 9 a.m. right now. So let's continue exploring the town and go see some temples. Ayutthaya used to be one of the largest capital city in the world uh, 300 years ago. It used to have almost uh, 1 million citizens. The country was very strong until their downfall after being invaded by the Burmese. After taking over, the Burmese quickly left after a few months after the Chinese invaded Burma. Even after the Burmese left, things were never the same anymore. Thai actually could not revive what Ayutthaya used to be. So they decided to be another city which came to be known as Bangkok in modern era. And I realized um, since the place that I was staying in is quite centralized, I could actually walk to different places of attractions. Gonna walk around and see how things like in this city. Uh, the place I was staying in is actually quite centralized in the city. I realized that I could actually walk to most of the attractions in the city. In just 10 minutes of walk, this is what I have. Like, look at it, it's so beautiful. Let's go and check it out. I believe this used to be the one of the biggest temple in Ayutthaya back in the 15th centuries. Unlike most ancient ruins, this one were quite well maintained. I believe there's a ticket counter over there and you sort of had to pay to go in. This is the entrance. It calls Wacha Burana. Do you guys just come out from there? Did you guys visit here? Uh, we are French. We don't speak English. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good, good place. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, I should go in? Oh, uh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I'll go in there. Alright, enjoy. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Oops, talk to a French person. Hello, sorry, Kap. 50 baht. 50. Um, so, oh. Oh, there's six temples in, inside here? No, no, now here. Oh. Together One, in the two, city. Three, four, five, six. They, 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 they. All of them are different? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I couldn't do all six, so I'll just do this one. So, foreigners, 50 baht? Yeah, 50. And locals, only 10. Do I look like local? <laughs> no, Where I'll pay. From? Uh, Malaysia. Oh, <laughs> uh, my face no locker. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll pay. I'll, I'll pay. I got caught. This one good. Cambodia. Oh, okay. Later. Only one. Do I have more friends? My side. Oh. Have more oh. have more no, I need to catch my flight okay. later. I need to go to Tab later. One outside, tuk tuk. Uh, later, we'll see how. After this? Yeah, okay. Alright, thank you. Thank uh, you. Cambodia. Uh, I see, I see. But I'll check this one out first. Mm. This one here? No. Oh. 
Racha Burana. Yeah. What Racha Burana? Okay. Good. Okay. Good. If I have time, then I'll go. Two hours? You have time? Two hours? I need to leave by 11. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. 11? Yeah. Where, where are you going? Bangkok. 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 Okay. I'll see you later. Alright, just got my ticket to go in. So apparently they have. So over here there are some rules. You're not allowed to wear tank tops, crop tops. Basically, you just have to wear decent, right? Um, just like everywhere else. And then uh, don't climb, of course, don't climb. Hello, so come, okay. Okay, let's go in. But look at how amazing this is. Oh, they have a uh, umbrella if you need it. This is actually so beautiful. You guys finished? Yeah. Is it is it nice? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite part of yeah, this whole the place? First, uh, uh, this one, uh, same. No, as in like this this area. Ah, this area. Ah. Uh, it's just this yeah. one. <laughs> I don't need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. enjoy bye. It. All right. <laughs> I mean, this is their favorite uh, hall. So let's check it out. Uh, this is the main hall. Um. Look at how majestic it is. And just think about when could you imagine when it was still uh, in use? Uh, how majest how majestic this place used to be. And I'm not sure. Like I think they used to have another floor because. I think these are all the columns that support. There was a supporting. There was supporting an, uh, the structure of the building. I mean, otherwise, why do they have this for? Um, oh man, check that out. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then over here you have a pagoda. I would imagine this place would look very magnificent uh, when it's crowded. That, I believe, is the main pagoda. That's where the monk or the religious leaders would do their prayers in. Yeah, when you look at the design of the building, it actually looks like a person praying. Like, this is the head, and this is the hands when they put their hands together. Can you, can you see it? I don't know, like, are they praying towards... Oh wait, it used to be a, a statue of Buddha here. I think so, like, um, where's the, the head? Where's everything? Oh, they would all destroy it. Ah, oh, this is such a shame. So, it used to be, like, some uh, Buddha statues over here. But, um, it was, it was destroyed. But... Look at how gorgeous this structure is. I think over here, they used to have a lot of uh, Buddhist statues. But they're all gone now. It's a shame. Yeah, I wish uh, they put signs to introduce about this place. How uh, you see, there's so many things here, but then there's lack of explanation of what it is and why it was here. You look at over here. Most of these statues were destroyed. I think we should go up. And even the way they design it is actually very beautiful. And over here, it is a staircase. It kind of is, but it looks quite steep, so I'm not going down from here. This, this is a newly built, actually, I think. So it's safer for people to climb up. Once you're inside the prong, <laughs> someone's taking photo. And okay, I'm gonna 
leave it. I'm not gonna destroy the photo. Okay, once you are inside the prank, this is how it looks like. So, they have this area that you're not allowed to go in. And then you have here. Really smells like bad shit. But there's a lot of bats here. Oh, look at, look at the bats. There's actually a lot of bats here. I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera. Wow, look at all the bats. It's crazy how it used to be one of the most majestic structure back in the days. And now it's just uh, full of bats. It's just... Okay, based on the information that I read about this place, so this structure calls the prank. If you notice, it actually resembles the, the structure of Angkor Wat um, because it has a very strong influence of the kingdom of Khmer. And they also have stupas like this. There are four, four stupas like this. These are, this has a very strong Sri Lankan design. This shows that designers, even the structural designers back then, actually used cultural influences from different countries in the Buddhist world. Wat Raja Buranan is actually built by the king of kingdom of Ayutthaya. This site was actually the cremation site of his two brothers. And he excavated the, the bodies of the brothers so that he can build this temple. And deep under the, the building, is actually a place where they stored the crypts of Wat Raja Buranan. It's only discovered not too long ago. After the discovery, there is a lot of looters come and stole the treasures. The looters were caught, but then only very few treasures were actually discovered. So that's very unfortunate. That's a, that's a simple story of Wat Raja Buranan. I think it's fascinating. If you've been here and if you know about this place, definitely just let me know in the comment section. I would lo actually love to learn more about this place. That's uh, what Rajaburana. There's actually six big Buddhist temples that uh, the locals say you have to visit. But I decided I'm not going to do all six of them because it will be a whole episode, a very long episode to talk about it because I still need to catch my flight out of Bangkok later. If you do want to learn more about Ayutthaya, let me know so I can come back, make an episode focusing mostly on that. But until then, same message to you. Do what you love, love what you do. I will see you on the next episode. Peace.